We kick off with football from the UEFA Champions League as Manchester City traveled to face Dynamo Kiev for the first leg of their last 16 tie. Now, the English side have just one win in four matches since it was announced that Pep Guardiola would be replacing Manuel Pellegrini as manager this summer, but the Chilean would try to put aside that distraction as he seeks to guide the citizens to the quarterfinals for the first time. The visitors take the lead after 15 minutes when Yaya Toure heads the corner to Sergio Aguero. He volleys it home for his 16th goal in his last 17 Champions League starts. Then David Silva would convert a low cross from Raheem Sterling at the far post on 40 minutes, giving City two valuable away goals in the first half. And Aguero almost makes it three, but the Argentine is going to whip this low blast just wide of the post. But Kiev would come out with renewed vigor in the second half. In the 58th minute, Vitaly Buyalski pounces on a loose ball at the top of the area. His shot deflects off Nicolas Otamendi and beats Joe Hart to make it 2-1 for City. Kiev keep pressing and Buyalski is denied by Hart with that beautiful diving save ten minutes, with 10 minutes to go. But then Touré gives the citizens a big boost ahead of the second league, curling it in. A fantastic strike from the edge of the area as the big man from the Cote d'Ivoire makes it 3-1 City. We have an important step tonight. Now we must try to recover the play that we have as soon as we, as we can. And we know we have a difficult games, uh, game against Liverpool. And I hope that playing uh, similar in the way we play tonight, we can win our first title of the season. And in the Netherlands, PSV Eindhoven were playing host to Spanish side Atletico Madrid. The visitors start well in just three minutes in. Luciano Vieto races onto a long ball and scoops it over PSV keeper Jerome Zoet, but sees his effort cleared off the line by Jeffrey Bruma. Antoine Griezmann would come close on a similar play. This time, Zoet is able to make the stop to keep it scoreless. Then in the 60th minute, Diego Godin finds the net off this corner, but his effort is ruled out for a push on a PSV defender. Uruguayan mounts the defender and goes for a bit of a ride. And PSV would be forced to play the closing stages with 10 men after 20-year-old striker Gaston Pereiro is sent off for his second booking after that needless shoulder challenge on Godin. Both sides fail to make a breakthrough and nil-nil is how it ends. The second leg is at the Vicente Calderon on March 15th.